What's up, Tim Sykes Millionaire Mentor here with Tim Bowen, trading with the Tims, lead trainer, stocks to trade today. We're talking about crypto. What do you think about crypto? I'm disappointed. I had so much hope. I had high hopes. I, I admit I was a believer to a certain extent. I traded Bitcoin, I traded Ethereum a little bit, and I wanted, I wanted, I had hoped. I know there's no hope in trading, just like there's no crying in baseball. There's no crying in baseball. I had hoped. There's no crying in baseball. That the crypto run would be real, but unfortunately, winter 2018, it looks like an elaborate pump and dump at this crypto point. Crypto could come back, yeah. but it is also down 80% yeah. off of its highs. Um, for me, I look to trade anything volatile. Yeah. Uh, I like the crypto stocks. They were beautiful. It was yes. like 1999 so, again, 1998. My first million that I made was buying penny stock breakouts. Um, ridiculous the, news. Yeah, the beauty of this was back up to last year, roughly this time, we're recording in November, December, you know, Bitcoin was going crazy and it was an incredible time because the mo the biggest joke of companies, all they had to do was issue a press release that said blockchain or said crypto and man, two out of three times, you're looking at a 100% runner that day. And before I was rudely interrupted by the hunter galore, I was actually talking about 1998, 1999. I made my first million buying penny stock breakouts. Back then they just added .com yep. to their name and they were an internet company. Sportsman's Guide sold camping equipment. Sportsmansguide.com sold camping equipment online. Stock tripled. I never held that long. Same thing with crypto stocks. I never yep. held that long. But remember Kodak, when yep. they got into crypto, or they, it was like Kodak coin. Yeah, they had it. turned they, out to be crap. Yeah, they had Kodak, which most of you, if you're, well, some of you might not remember Kodak, the old camera company, they pivoted into cryptocurrencies. They had this miner that looked like a toaster with a fan on it. It was a joke, but stock went from, I think, don't quote me, like two to seven. Three or to something. 12. Three to 12, okay, all right. And then came all the way back, of course. But. Came all the way back, now there's questions. Crypto, um, again, maybe it's the future, maybe it's not. Very few companies actually use it. Like for me, if a product is really gonna take off, like there should be widespread right. use, not just, you know, okay, on a white paper it looks good, or, you know, technologically it looks good, or maybe it's even logical to use. There needs to be widespread acceptance. Yeah. Like online discount brokers revolutionized the brokerage space because it made sense and it was a lot cheaper. So old brokers pretty much have been wiped out. There still are a few. It's actually funny, this one guy gave me his business card the other day and I was like, but I don't even what I don't even know what to do with this like can I <laughs> upload it like it was so weird so blockchain crypto has the chance to change the world but the price of it got way ahead yeah, of yeah. itself because of how you know luring it was alluring right like it was hopeful um, the whole world is changing like we want humanity to be great we can elect a black leader we can change the world we can end nuclear war crypto is gonna change the world you know like maybe hunters won't kill animals anymore who knows what's gonna happen but Tim Bowen, after crypto fell, took his anger out on these poor defenseless animals and then eats them to feel better and says that it's protein and part of his diet. But the nice thing about the crypto stocks as well as even Bitcoin is, is it, it just uh, enforces the point that these chart patterns repeat. I mean, you can look at the, the chart of Bitcoin, you know, from 80 cents to 19,000 to two. 3,000 today, and you can look at some of, you know, some of your charts from 15 years ago in your DVDs or yeah. your book, yeah. and it's the same chart. Or pattern. the Chinese stocks or the shipping stocks, yep, exactly. or nanotech, yeah. Yeah, Y2K. You can, you can look at DRYS, a stock that went from two to 120 and, or 140 in like two and a half days. It's the same chart, yeah. Or Accelerate Technologies, do you yep. remember this? Mm. This was Y2K, yeah, back I, in the year 2000, everyone thought like all these computers were gonna shut down because of going from 99 to 2000. Nothing actually happened, but a lot of these Y2K plays yep. had the same kind of spike. So Y2K came and went. Uh, you know, Chinese stocks came and went. The shippers came and went. Yeah, came yeah. and went. Does Bitcoin have a future? Bitcoin does exist. Crypto does exist. This is the difference here. It's a real product. But what is the value of it? And I don't know that answer. Is it worth 20000 at its peak? Is it worth 3500 where it is right now? Is it worth $1,000? Uh, you don't know because, frankly, you know, it's all a guessing game. And this is my problem with crypto people because they're so sure crypto is going to be at a million by this date. I'll eat my own dick if <laughs> it's not at a million. People have actually said this. You just don't know. And this is no different than, you know, people on CNBC where they're guessing and they're putting that's, specific that's price the, targets. That's the lesson there is you don't know and no one 
knows, but that doesn't mean there aren't trading opportunities, but don't get lulled into thinking you know. But it's human nature yeah. to put price targets and to want to say like, I know this, and then if it comes true, then it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy and you think that you're a profit. <laughs> For me, I'm more interested in the price action and the patterns. I don't know how high something is gonna go, but I do know that if something is in like a mania state, and that is something that every single one of us can know 100% by studying the past. I know I'm you know, just beating an old drum like it's the same thing, but studying the past, you can see these patterns yes. happen again and again. And they're different. Bitcoin went up much more than any of these other manias. But now it's come down in the same exact fashion. You can actually put like charts back to the NASDAQ yeah. uh, boom and bust of the year 2000 and now Bitcoin. So don't be so sure of anything. The, the lesson here is just to be flexible. Yep. If you ride a mania, fantastic. And only price but, action matters. Yeah. Only price action, but sell on the way up. Sell in yep. eighths if you want to be like aggressive. Sell in eighth, sell in eighth, sell in eighth, sell in eighth. Sell partial positions. You don't have to sell all at once, but never just hold on to a whole position and hope, especially if you doubled, tripled, 10 times, 50 times your money. I hate getting messages from people being like, I had all this money, I should have listened. Take some partial profits. I was actually in South Africa a few months ago when Bitcoin was at 12,000. Um, in the my South African tour guide was in from a thousand, so she's made twelve times her money. No kidding. It was down from twenty thousand. She's like, "What do I do?" And I was like, "Sell half." Sell half, protect your gains, lock it in. If the rest goes down, you've still already locked in your gains. If it goes back up, you can sell the rest. I don't know what she did, I haven't talked to her, but that is my suggestion. When something goes up too much, whether it's penny stocks or Forex or any kind of asset, when it goes up exponentially, mm -hmm. take gains along the way because it rarely ever lasts. No one trade, no one sector, no one stock is gonna make you so much money that you never have to do this again. And it's such a, a, a simple thing, but so many overlook it you can always rebuy. You know, I think that, it, it, I think it's so obvious for long time. psychological thing. But, but long time traders like us, it clicks. But as, as newer, y you can always just rebuy. I mean, if, if Bitcoin rips back to 9,000 tonight, you can rebuy it tonight. You know, if, if another stock starts, re you know, you can always take those gains book them, and then you can always retrade. Yeah. People get very attached to their yes, investments yeah. and their um, egos get involved and, and their stubbornness takes over where it's like, no, this must happen. Yep. I must do this otherwise. Otherwise what? Yep. Sell your position and buy it back two minutes later. Yep. See that the world did not you know, die off. Like the world goes on. It's okay to exit a position and rebuy and then get out and then rebuy and then get out. Like you don't have to be attached anymore. Online discount brokers allow you to buy in and buy out very often. If you're a short seller, I get it. You don't want to exit your short because there's so few shares to short. Right. But if you're buying crypto, if you're buying this stuff. Also, one other thing, one final closing thought. How much time do we have left, Pascal? Good amount. What time are we at? How much? Eight minutes. Left. All right, good. We have two minutes left because we want to make this a 10 minute video just because that's what I love. My whole goal is to make 10 minute videos. I want to talk about where, you know, crypto, it became this, this thing. Like people would get well, angry. A, a religion. It, was, it, it, it almost reached that people level. People would get very angry <laughs> when I talked against it. Like blasphemy. Yeah, yeah. And it's very similar to a lot of these penny stocks. Yep. Like Fuse Sciences, F-U-S-Z. Fuck you, you idiots who keep holding that stuff. You know, it, it's, it's crazy to look at from the outside because I, I consider us free. We're not in the matrix. Um, some people who are stuck and they're locked in their mindset and they won't change until they lose a lot of money. Right. Don't be that person. Don't ever get so that you, you feel like you can't listen you should, to the other should, side. You should Always never... listen to the devil's advocate side. Yeah. Like, listen to, like, okay, let me hear what you think. And then you'll be surprised. Sometimes the other side might actually make a more appealing case. Yeah, never put yourself in the position where you're capitulating, where you're just, you're selling because you can't take the pain anymore. You know, you have to have a plan. You have to have that realistic attitude to say, I'm in this, this asset, whatever this asset is, and it is not working, and I'm not going to wait until I just can't bear it anymore. That's that bag holder mentality. You know, all of us longtime traders always make fun of the bag holders, the bag holders, but those are the people that will not sell until it just reaches max pain level. Rule number one is cut losses quickly, but you don't have to just wait for a loss to cut.
You can take mm -hmm. profits. It's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. And you need to learn to do it. Also, if there is some dissenting opinion, don't just block them right. and be like, they're wrong. I don't want to hear it. You should think about, wait a minute. I can be wrong on any trade. I can be wrong on any sector. Let me hear all the arguments. And that way you stay open-minded enough and flexible enough. Trading and getting rich is all about flexibility and adaptability. And if you don't do that, you're done. Yeah, if you no can. matter how much money you've made in the past, you can always be too stubborn and lose it in the future. As I know a lot of people watching this, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be a dig about it. Um, this isn't like an I told you so video, but I know people lost a lot of money <laughs> with Bitcoin and crypto. Like they changed their entire businesses, they did everything, they moved into this, and now they're, they're, there's mud on their face. I mean, I mean, you have, the, the final lesson I think that, that we're kind of headed for towards is you have to be willing to be wrong to be successful in this game. If you can't be wrong, you will never make it. If you're Eddie Lampert and you held Sears all the way to zero, it doesn't matter if you made 20 billion 20 years ago, you just took Sears all the way to zero. Well, he actually locked in his bonuses, so he's okay. Well, year okay. By year. Hey, funds are a scheme. <laughs> yeah, Anyways, there you go, there you leave go. Leave a comment below. Uh, if you love Bitcoin, if you hate Bitcoin, or if you just understand this video lesson, we'd like to hear what you think. Also, leave some comments asking us for some more topics. We'll talk about anything. We want to help you. It's better when you're rich, but if you're broke and using the free library Wi-Fi, God bless you. At least you're studying. Eat some good food tonight. Beg on the streets. Do whatever you have to. And if you know somebody who's lost a lot of money in crypto, give them an extra $20. Give them a little smile. Hey, Tim Sykes, millionaire mentor and trader. Thank you for watching my videos. I hope that they help you. I wanna share everything that I've learned over the years. You can check out more videos right over there and also click subscribe so that you can watch all of these videos, get that knowledge and become my next millionaire student.